Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hoi Me Cray! Last episode, we finished our base. The shell of it. The outside. Today, we're going to start working on the inside. And believe it or not, B-Dubs has a sticky note. Oh, it's fallen down. But it's a sticky note with four cool building topics and, and tricks I want to talk about. Maybe they're not tricks. Here's why you like this. Maybe rugs, maybe make the rugs outside flickering light. Okay, we've got some very cool, I mean, this interior that we're going to do today. Not the full interior, but partial interior we have to do because it's very difficult to get down to that area where most of my stuff is. All Most of my uh, things that I'm using, like my Super Smelter, I use this quite a bit now. Uh, and some of the other things are down here. And it's kind of difficult to get to it and access it. So I need walkways. I want wa I, I, I want walkways. But before we get to that, we have something very, very important, and that is the oh so heavily anticipated horse race against Etho to determine who's the best horseman in the world. Me. I'm at the horse track. If you want some of this. I, you know what? I, I decided to be honorable. Ooh, that is a bad jump. Yes, that is not great. You two jump? No, that's only a three jump. Ooh, that's bad. I like, oh, this is mine. This is a winner horse. But <laughs> Look at this guy. I haven't. He's um, salivating over a horse right now. Um, I haven't. I, of course, I think it should be fair and we should just both. You know, at random, so I'll just randomly horse. pick this one here. This, hey! this one here is mine. Is no, that what you were saying no. You need whatever help you can get, Pete. Oh, Stick yeah, the horse. Right. I, I insist. I insist. When I choose a horse, I choose based on their personality, right? Like, oh, look at this white one. So yeah. gentle, so kind. Ah, yes. He's not gonna win. No, he's not gonna win. No, no. We gotta no pick chance. this guy over here. He's ferocious. It's the exact same horse. <laughs> it's, it's the same horse. It's a different one. It's same color. It's different. Oh, though. okay. Different spirit. You're good to go. This is it. This For is all it. the marbles. This is all the marbles right here. Ooh, oh, the ooh. song still works. <laughs> yeah, nervous. baby. I'm nervous. Here we go. Here we go. You taking the Did outside? Not work? What are you doing on the outside? I don't think it's outside? working. <laughs> I don't think it works, speed ups. You did the redstone on this, didn't I, you? This isn't I, I, my redstone. I, 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 oh oh my goodness. Hold on. The fireworks didn't fire. Nothing happened. Hold on. Uh, oh, there's that repeater missing here. All right, Mr. Showoff. Let's see your shulker box system in... Uh, yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Etho to save the day once again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with his organization. This is it. You ready? Good ready. to go. No complaining. No complaining. You know? All right, this is it. Yep. You want the inside lane? Punch. I want to punch you so bad. Uh, you I'm gonna go inside. I think. Yeah. 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 Why not? Okay. Oh, not okay. not. Yes. You're too close. Yes. Do and perfect. Here? And oh, I should have sabotaged. Oh. Your horse. Yeah, my name. My horse made a sound. It whinnied. Uh, what? My horse whinnied. whinnied. Yeah, that's oh. the only reason you got that lead. Oh, you can't make that. Dude, I forgot how tough that part was. Yeah, that that part's tough. Okay. Oh, oh you almost could have stole the shortcut from me. You got it. I didn't load my bow. Yeah. Dude, this is hard. Yes, it's hard. I'm failing all over the place. Ooh, I'm catching you. I didn't take oh, the no. shortcut. What do we do here? We got to hit the fence gates. I yeah, hit the yeah. fence gates. I missed. I'm gaining. Oh, dear. Dude, yeah, I am messing up part. so hard. <laughs> this is so tough. Oh, beat ups, go! I got the speed arrow. I got yes. it. I got See it. A sucker. <laughs> Aw. Okay. First lap, a close one. Thank you for okay, opening that. Oh, here. it stopped in front of me. <laughs> it closed right in front of my too face. Too slow, too slow. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna mess up the water for you. You won't no, know if it's gonna be out or don't. not. No, you don't. Nope. Karma will get you if you do that. You did it. Oh. oh sneak through there. Okay, I'm, it's starting to come back to me. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The timings. Yep. 
It's feeling good. You're now. flying. Oh, I winnied. I winnied. Okay, I got a chance. Oh, I've fallen in all the water. No. Get out, stupid. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. Dude, any any slip up. Flawless. I, I got you. Flawless. No, you did not. Oh. Oh, oh my goodness, I did the lily pad part too. No, you did not. Oh, I missed the target though. Okay, if you get a speed arrow, you can catch up. Okay. Okay. How's it feeling back there? It's not feeling good. I didn't have my arrow loaded. <laughs> okay, we're rolling. Oh. I forgot to reload too. Lap, final lap, I think. Final lap. Here I come. I think so. Go, you stupid. Oh, you triggered the water! <laughs> of course. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. The best trap. Are you just cruising now? Oh, uh, I'm making a, the odd mistake here and there. Okay. I didn't take the shortcut this time. Okay, I'm at the drop. Okay, I'm right behind you. Lily pads, perfect again. Oh, oh I fell in the water though, no. Perfect on the lily pads. You know the part where you drop? Yeah. Oh, I missed. Dude, Are I you close to me? the lily pads once. Yes, I'm close. You're not close. Yes, I'm right behind you. Oh, I messed up the gate. Come on now, BDF, go! Oh, I got the speed arrow. This is it, it's over. No! Ding, 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 ding! No! <laughs> okay, and and I'm done too. You're not. Oh, I must you. be lag, it la must be lagging yeah, for you. Oh, I finished, I lag finished a while ago. Um, uh, I didn't just get here. That was fun though, that was uh. That was fun. That was harder than I remembered. Well, Etho bested me. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Cheating? I'm sure. I'm sure he cheated a little bit. Right? There's no way. There's no way. I'm too good. I'm too good at horse racing. And, and of course, you know, I have such admiration and respect for Etho and uh, what he's done for the game of Minecraft that never would I... I mean, you know how bad I would feel? Making Etho lose at the horse race and then, you know, sending him off on his way. He's going to be, be very competitive, of course, and uh, so he'd be sad. But anyway, I let him win. That's what I'm getting at. Here we are in the inside. And it's dangerous in here and, and dark spots, but that's okay. This is like living inside of a ravine. Right now, today, we are going to start our interior with the center. This rectangle right here with the moon shape in it is our throne room or well you know our main room where people will come to visit it's not a castle but uh, I need a throne of course so close your eyes with me and picture this you're inside an old abandoned temple and it's been taken over by a big smile and big eyed face beautiful moss covered boy me and I've retrofitted the place with neon lights pipes and wires all over the place but it's a little raggedy. There's drips from the ceiling, and it's not the best, but it kind of looks cool, of course, you know. And some other things that we'll get to eventually. But the thing that I want to focus on and show you did not hit my head. Ignore that damage that it said I took. Okay, fly to this spot up here. I want to show you a, uh, a thing I invented, a building invention that I think is cool, rugs. I spent quite some time working out some rug designs because I'm like, man, I don't want to just use carpets. So in my experimenting, I found, oh, this is not okay. Let's put it all the way over to here. I think I found that hay bales, the tops of them, I made this wrong size. Okay. And this guy goes there. Boom. The tops of hay bales. That looks like a pretty cool raggedy rug. And then this solves two problems. It adds a nice decorative look around the outside, but additionally, it kind of lights the area, makes it a little spawn safe, so you can still have darkness in there. How cool is that? That's a really cool looking rug. I've got more. I don't know exactly what pattern this will make, but you know, glazed terracotta. Put that in the middle and then some wool on the outside and you've got like a, a small little uh, round rug. But I came up with 
a big ru round rug design that looks pretty cool as well. Okay, check this out. Glow lichen is a really, this is really helpful. If you get the right blocks, that is a cool looking. Doesn't that look cool? For like a circle rug. I think that'll be cool. And then one last one that I, I patented and invented. This little simple guy. Just, uh, this is red nylium, which looks like a nice shag carpet. And then a little wool strip down the middle. So those are some rug designs. I've got another one that I'm going to use some dead coral with and stuff. But these are some rugs that I just want to have randomly kind of placed throughout the interior of our throne room. Now underneath the rugs, I want to have kind of a, a resemblance of some old tiling that used to be on the floor. But it's all kind of covered up. And I think if we go something like this, this makes a real cool... My daughter said, ooh, that's cool. How did you do that? Do something like that. And then, of course, have like a, oh, I don't have any stone on me. But, you know, some stone around this. That makes a really cool, I mean, see it from a distance. When you're just walking through the area, all of this, like the granite looks like it kind of blends into the brown glazed terracotta there. It makes a really cool pattern. So we're going to kind of do that on the floor. So I'm very excited to show you kind of what this final product looks like. There's other, there's a couple other cool things that we're going to do. We want to use all the levels of detail that we can, you know. We want the visual where you're standing in the room and it looks cool, but also if you really slow down and look at things, all the details and stuff, you start seeing more and more things that help it feel very alive and lived in. So, time to get all the materials together get into this mob trap farm, and start building. But before we move on, let's take a quick commercial break. Do you know what a VPN is? No, but I heard that the other day. What is that? Most boomers have no idea what a VPN is, so let me quickly explain. Imagine writing a letter with some information that maybe you wouldn't want the whole world to see, and then you just throw that letter in your mailbox. Of course, the mailman's gonna see everything that you've written down in there. ExpressVPN is like the envelope around your letter. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It creates a secure tunnel between your devices, your apps, and the internet. Hackers, the government, and your internet service provider can see everything that you do. They can surveil your traffic, and they can sell your browsing data to third parties. That ain't cool. And not to mention hackers. They're the worst. So as an added layer of security, I use ExpressVPN to cover me when I do some of that browsing that I wouldn't want the world to know about. With ExpressVPN turned on, I can browse freely and confidently knowing that no one's gonna see. On top of that, you ever run into that problem where Netflix shows that you wanna watch maybe in the US or in different countries aren't available? Well, change your region. Aha! Uh -huh. All of a sudden you have access to shows from different countries that are blocked out in your area. What a joy. Why is ExpressVPN the best? Why are they number one? Well, they have some of the fastest speeds out there. Sometimes VPNs, you'll see a lower speed. They have some of the fastest speeds. They've also got 24-7 support. On top of that, it's super easy to use. Just one click and you're ready to browse. Lucky for you, you can get three months of ExpressVPN free if you check out the link in the description right down below check expressvpn.com slash bdubs express vpn your security in an unsecure world that's pretty good <laughs> Thank you. 
And now this feels nice. Now we have an interior, or at least some of one. So let's go through. Of course, you know, I, I, I did this main room in here. But to get to there, I mean, one of my biggest problems is the mobility getting around in this place. So I got to start figuring all of that out. So when we come in, we come in on this like kind of platform area. And of course, we got some pipes and some retrofitted, retrofitted. That's the word I was wanting to say earlier. Uh, lights and stuff like that. And some walkways from one hallway to the next going over just like it, it used to be beautiful and cool. But now, you know. Not so much, uh, but now we go down and there's areas where I plan on having walls. I have plan on having some walls here and then, you know, some stairs here and vice versa. But both of these stairs, they mirror each other. They do the same thing. So the same thing happens over here. Just come down those stairs. This represents like some futuristic floor lighting type stuff. Got some spots for maybe some statues or something in here and here. But like I said, all of this stuff will potentially change. Maybe even wall textures, all this stuff. It can all be different. Ooh, <laughs> B does left a bed. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll mess it up. We'll get barrels around and stuff like that. Here is another way to enter the area. We have this opening on the side. We, we, we did some stuff here last episode. But if we fly in that door right there, we can get easy access. That's where we just were, to the to the inside. So that's nice. Do I need a, a light in here? I wonder. It seems pretty good, but anyway, I think uh, we'll we'll get walls in here and all of that stuff as well. That's kind of what this was just re resembling. This is like there used to be a cool window here, but now it's all boarded up. Looks more boarded up from the other side. So I'll probably mimic that on this side. But then you go in, and here we are in B dubs. Did you? Is this what you saw? When you closed your eyes and you pictured what I was talking about, here we have it. Now we're going to improve this area here now together. We're going to do some things. But before we do, let's just talk about some of the things in here. So this, I needed chainmail chest plate. Couldn't find one anywhere in the world or, or anything. And this is supposed to look like, like a robot suit, which when we get armor trims in Minecraft, we'll be able to pull that off even better. Here's like a filing cabinet, a big scaffolding thing with some, you know, claws draped on it and stuff. Uh, random machine. <laughs> I don't know, but one of the little tricks I use here is you can piston Minecraft walls, Minecraft walls, uh, any block walls uh, into carts like that. And then you can connect iron bars to them and stuff. So that's kind of how I made that machine there. Um, just going for some random looking storage here. And then, uh, we'll get to this in a second. We got some pipes going across here. Let's bone meal this. So this, I wanted to look like some bamboo shoots, uh, but I wanted to implement like some regular leaves in here as well. And I think once this is all grown up, this will look pretty cool. There's one way up top that I got to get. Yeah, that guy right there, he didn't grow at all. But there we go. So now it looks like, you know, the bamboo is shooting up all the way. But then there's some leafy spots on the sides. Let's take a look at it from a distance. Yeah, so that's cool. So that adds like a little bit of greenery and um, uh, organic feeling in the place. And then, uh, you know, get messing with the glow signs a little bit. Maybe this is like a big, huge TV. But now... Here's some things we're going to do. Let's start. Let's start here. Okay. So I've got this kind of cool trick that we can try together. Let's put, I've got a light right here, which we're going to mess with that in a second as well, too. Goodness. We're, I, we're doing so much together as a family. Put this here, break this like so. And now he sits in there. Why you face that way though? I want you to face the other way. Aha, okay, um, if there are any mistakes there, ignore them. Uh, that wasn't me. This is how I do this. You go like this, and then, yes, you nestle that little baby right in there, nice and beautiful, and then, let's take this white bed, put it right there, and, oh, B-Dub's got a throne he can sit in. Look at my, wise me. Just picture this. Picture this room, and then B-Dub's, Covered in a moss cloak. 
all strewn across his long, huge bed size uh, throne. Oh, yeah. It actually works. All right, now let's mess with these chests, okay? This is just like a big, tall, huge pile of just chests hanging all over the place, right? But we're going to make it look better in our new segment called Here's Something You'll Like. So in this segment of Here's Something You're Going to Like, uh, we have these chests here, but there's something happening. Uh, as I'm walking in here, hi, Cub fan, hi. As I'm walking in here, I want this to stand out a little bit more. I feel like these chests are blending in with all this darkness that's behind it. They're not really standing out very much. So, a way to do that, oh yes. A way we will make them stand out just a little bit more is we will backlight them. So, if I put, and I'm just gonna kinda guess on a location here, but if I put a little bit of a light, this is kind of how I've been doing my lights. Like so, yes, like that. Now, these chests are gonna really stand out a lot more. It brightens them quite a bit and it separates them from that back. It's sleep time, it's nighttime. As I was saying after a good night's sleep, this really helps because there's some darker colors in there and you have that brightness in the background, especially if you're coming from this direction. These really pop now. So it's something that I, I, I think it looks really cool and I want it to be shown off. So that light right there really helps and it shines a little bit of light on the pipes. Like it just adds a little bit more to this whole back and forth contrast. Hi Scar. Now of course here are the rugs that we made outside. We've just got these strewn all over the place with our floor pattern in here. And I think it looks really nice. Of course just some regular plain rugs as well. But now, we're going to end that segment called Here's Something You'll Like, and we're going to jump right into another segment of Redstone with Vito. Now, I'm very bold. I make bold choices in Minecraft. I say, you know what? It's not good enough. I need more. Okay? Ooh, there's other more things we're going to do, too. But we will make this light flicker. I want the, these lights right here look very, very dim in here, uh, which is a cool contrast, but I want it to look like a fluorescent light flickering off every once in a while. And if we can control this light right here, it's going give to give us that effect with perfect redstone. So in my wise choice, I have kind of laid out a little bit. We're right underneath the throne room now, and there's that light. So... With my wisdom, I'll show you. So we're going to power that single block right there. And just so we can reach a little bit higher, we're going to do that. So we can put, uh, once that changes, then it'll turn the light off on. The light is on actually right now. And now it is off because now I am making something called an AND gate. Don't worry. It sounds crazy and it sounds scary. Don't worry. It's not scary. An AND gate means I need this and this to be lit to change this. And you do that by just doing something like this. Very simple, very simple. So I can send a signal into here and a signal into here. Once both of these match up, it'll send a signal and make a flicker. So what we want to do now is make both of these, this and this, at trigger at the same time very rarely and very quickly and the first way we're going to do that the signal that's going to go to this side the left side is going to be just an observer clock and i need to find a way to maybe have this um, not on all the time i don't like when they're on all the time but look a repeater with a one pl plap like that make flash okay so we're just going to have that flash now we need something very random so we're going to I have some light on the subject now. We're going to make another observer clock, like so. Just two observers looking face to face into each other, into a dropper. Yes, into a hopper, okay? Out of that hopper, we will put a comparator. A comparator says, okay, maybe in a second. If one item is in here, it'll, the comparator says, okay, this will have a strength of one, but 
if you take a non-stackable item, something that carries a lot of weight, like a wooden shovel, for example, it'll send out a signal of two. So this is going to, the dropper that we have here, whoops, here, it's gonna face into this. Uh, right now they, they kind of messed up, but it's gonna have shovels and just regular blocks in it. And it's just gonna go back and forth. Whenever a shovel comes in, it's going to send a signal strength of two into here. So that's our other random factor. And that should give us a nice flicker. So let's get the noise machine going. It shouldn't be loud actually. Yeah, no noise at all. Okay, so you can see we're getting a shovel every once in a while. I've got just azalea bushes and uh, moss and shovels. So every once in a while, and I might adjust this. I think that's right though. Five shovels, four stacks of moss. So basically we watch here and every time that flickers, that means these two triggered at the same time. Now I might have to adjust this a little bit, but let's go up and check it out. There it is. Did you see it? There it is. It's very subtle and it's very random and it's every once in a while, but it just gives a little more atmosphere in here. Just a little bit. When you're standing in this area, it looks like I wanted it to feel like, you know, the lights are kind of flickering and that gives us that effect. I think that looks awesome. Additionally, I did something intentionally kind of different in the ceiling. So we got kind of this, uh, this is just how the ceiling looks, you know, kind of like corrugated metal or something like that. Uh, for, for most of it, I put light gray wool just to have a better contrast. But here, these are slabs. Why slabs, B-dubs? Why would you put slabs every once in a while as he grabs water bucket? Let me show you. It's here, right? Is this a slab? Oh, please. I can F3. Confirmed. Stone slab. Okay. Boom. Water log. Water log. And then I can grab. Oh, I can't. It did, make, did not make infinite source, but you can see what's happening. So I have these little pockets every once in a while where I can put slabs. And down below, it's going to look like the roof is leaking. Aha! I just saw one right over there. Okay, it's very, it's very subtle. Like you will have to, this may not even show up on YouTube. But as you're in here, there's so many waterlogged spots up there that as you're in here, you're going to catch a drop or two. You're going to see a couple of them. So it's very, very subtle. Oh, I think I just saw one in my face. Oh, I also made this shag rug out of horn, horn van coral for horn. Now I have these shelves over here too. And I think this is a last but not least situation. Uh, I, whenever you're doing like interior decorating artistically, you want to think of, okay, what are some items that this person would have? Like kind of, uh, they would treasure a little bit. So I have actually, this season, I've been keeping uh, some things. So down here in my bedroom of the monolith, not the main castle thing, but in the monolith, all season I've been keeping all of the player heads that I got. And believe it or not, uh, there's Doc N77. Believe it or not, I have two warden heads because earlier today, uh, killed like 24 wardens with doc i'm here okay I'm here. one is down one is down you kill one, one how'd you do that yeah we, we, because we shot him all together okay we just need to concentrate our fire okay he's oh he's he, coming he, right he, right he's not happy with you no <laughs> oh come on why is oh, he, he down oh, oh my shoot. goodness you know all of these <laughs> all of these player heads they all say, aside from Scar killing uh, uh, these two right here, oh, Cleo killed that one, but most of these were, say, killed by Ren the King, which makes me wonder, maybe maybe that was a bad choice. Maybe it was bad king choice. <laughs> Salt and Pepper Rabbit's Head. Is that the rabbit that, when we went off trying to get rabbits, is that the one that fell? Oh, <laughs> I wonder too how this would look if I put a couple on the wall like that. Eh, it's okay. I don't love it. Uh, but I think it's cool as, oh, oh careful. Oh. 
But overall, I think that looks pretty cool. You can kind of see all the stuff. And funny enough, each one of these, they're not random. They all have a little bit of a story to when I got them. Uh, so and even though I can't remember them all specifically, there's their story behind each one of these. So it's kind of cool having them up on display. Now, I also did this area over here, another spot where you can come in and through here, you know, I've got like a little crack in the floor type thing. And then, uh, here's that big crane and stuff we have outside. I don't know if this will work. I have this all, whole inside spawn safe. I think this will keep any mobs out here from coming inside i don't know a little rail like that i think it works like that um but yeah you can also get to the throne room just from the side like that oh give me a flicker baby i love it now some of you might be wondering b-dubs are you playing tcg at all and if you don't know tcg is a card game that vintage beef has made here on the Hermitcraft server, and yes, I am. I played twice against Cub. No, three times against Cub. I lost two times. I played three times against XB. I lost three times. And I played one time against Scar, and I lost. So I'm losing a lot. I actually flew the wrong way. <laughs> I flew, I meant to go over here because Beef just revealed and announced this tournament that we're going to be doing. Oh, yes. So we're doing a TCG tournament. And here's the brackets based off of why I low, based off of uh, who's kind of played the most and won the most and stuff like that. And little OB dubs is over here with Hypno. So I'm going against Hypno first. And then the winner goes against Etho. Oh, baby. <laughs> In my deck, I've got, um, I'm doing a boomer deck. This isn't it. Don't worry. I've got a lot of other stuff that Etho gave me to kind of help me out a little bit. But uh, I'm going for a boomer deck. Basically, like, uh, we all kind of synergize nice together. Uh, Impulse does more damage when we're, when they're, then I'm on the board. Blah, 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 blah. I'm very wise, very smart. Okay. And I'm going to win this tournament. But anyway, we've got our interior started get up there please yes and fly through our beautiful interior coming right along it's looking very good and we're just going to keep going we've got to expand down and up and out and all over the place but this is a great start so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching i love you to death and we'll see you in the next episode